Singing Without Airs. This is a wonderful book. I'm very happy that it is now available in English. It has had an enormous success in French, and I believe that the book has had success, first of all, thanks to the enormous talent of its author, who is really a, a magnificent artist, and the reader will find wonderful illustrations that make us laugh, make us smile, make us chuckle, but make us feel good, which is, I think, the basic premise of this book. Emmanuel Ayrton has written this book with enormous compassion and empathy and love for her peers, for the art of singing, for music, and for love of the discipline of art itself. In this book, the reader will find an excellent explanation of vocal technique. The reader will find an encouragement to take singing lessons, not because they might become a world-famous opera singer, but because this discipline is available to anybody and anybody can improve and learn more about this wonderful art of singing and have access to wonderful moments of satisfaction and pleasure and, and well, yeah, excitement, fear, anguish, <laughs> but all for the immense satisfaction of singing for oneself in the shower, for one's animals, for one's friends, in choirs, on concert stages, on the opera stage, and in the forest. Buy this book <laughs> if you're a would-be singer, if you have a would-be singer in your family or in your close circle of friends, if you're a choir director and you would like to understand more about the mentality of your chorists, if you're a voice teacher and you would like some, some clues and some tidbits that might help you, if you're learning how to sing, or if you were told that you mustn't learn how to sing or ever try to sing because you might make the angels cry or you might make it rain or you sing like a casserole. This book is for anybody and everybody who loves music and who loves singing.